It's an awesome show. We are back. Tom, Coach. Coach Heaves at courtside. Love saying that. All right. We're checking this out. Some awesome things that we've been seeing. You know, we're always watching. We all know that. You know, social media is popping. We're always seeing things. We're always seeing things. We're all seeing. A couple of things that we've been seeing out there. Shout out first out, Justin Paz, the junior. Mm-hmm. Coach Heaves, all right? You, know, you got to check him out. Thousand point score already. Hit a thousand point plateau as a junior. I talked to him tonight, and you'll see the clip. He, uh... He has just about every Patriot League school talking to him at okay, this point. Okay. Only a junior. Uh, we talked. He might have to play point guard at the next level. He's not super tall, but he can get to the hole, and he can shoot. He, he can, can shoot. He can put the ball in the basket. Congratulations, Justin. Reached a thousand-point plateau. Also, I'm sticking here with you, there, Coach Heaves, man. Another person, man, run Rookie of the Week. All right? Valley, Valley Kid. What school is he from, Tom? I think he's been nicknamed the Trojan Goat. The Trojan Goat. The greatest of all time, Sam Maiorio, American University, players, rookie of the week there, uh, Coach. Well, I thought his skill set was perfect for the Princeton offense, and that's what they run at American. You know, he handles the ball, he passes, he shoots, he drives, he scores. He does everything. That's his game. He can be point forward. He can shoot threes deep in the corner. Very intelligent player. And he's already making huge strides huge in the stride. Patriot League. Yes, he is, man. He's uh, started every game he's played. He's sick a little bit, so he missed a couple of games. But every game he's played, he started. And uh, the coach is just raving about his uh, his trigger, man. They love his shot. It's quick. It's I actually was with a coach today, a, a competing coach at Loyola. And he was talking about Sam Iorio. Inside info. Inside info. This is definitely some inside. And he was just raving about how uh, – you know, when they played American, they were like, oh, you got to close out on him, got to close out on him as a shooter, shooter. And they just still couldn't be, they weren't just amazed about how quick his release was and how deadly that shot is and his and all the intangibles that he brings that we've seen for so many, so for four years here. He's going to be a problem in that league he's for the next three years. He's definitely going to be a problem for some time. Play. He Can, knows how to play and he's skilled. Yeah, extremely skilled, all right? So that's uh, one thing. We've also seen Tom there, all right? Uh, Muhammad Ali Abdurrahman, Ooh. all right? Another reached another plateau, a thousand points. Uh, tell us a little bit about what how that went down. So week and a half ago, they're playing Maryland. Maryland hits a three with about four seconds left to take a one point lead. Coach Beeline calls a good timeout. They throw the ball in across half court. Uh, Coach Turgeon decided he didn't watch the Grant Hill to Leitner throw because he didn't guard the inbounds pass. So it allowed uh, Michigan to fire it in about 60 feet to Muhammad. He caught it, attacked hard off the dribble, and drew a foul. Uh, went to the line, sitting on 998 down one with less than a second left. So that's wow. talking about pressure. Drilled the first and drilled the second. One-point win, and it came on his 1,000th point. So I couldn't imagine a better way to do that. Michigan's playing really well. Took an L against Nebraska last week, but they bounced back with a, with a drubbing of Rutgers on Sunday. Uh, in the top 25, looked yeah. like they're definitely headed for the big dance and a great way for Muhammad to finish out his outstanding, for awesome four-year career at Michigan. Indeed, man, Muhammad. So Class great. act, too. <laughs> Ari is incredibly proud of, of, of what he's been able to accomplish. Four-time district champion, four-time All-State player uh, here, at 2,000-point scorer mm. at Central Catholic. Uh, just accolades go on and on and on. All right, so those are some some things that we've, we've – awesome things that we've seen out there on a – the uh, milestone plateau. Milestone. All right. So we'll see some other things out there. All right. Um, you know, coaches definitely have different ways of, you know, giving incentives and making kids do things. Uh, down at Rockney Hall, checking out some action, and I see my man Dat Lambert. All right, Dat. You know, he's walking out of the game. He What's got up the, with that? <laughs> <laughs> who that? Who that? Who that nation? Yeah. Dat's walking out there. He has this big bell on his shoulder. He's walking out. He's dragging out there. I'm like, Dad, man, what, what you got there? What you got going on there, Dad? What like, is that? Yeah, what is? <laughs> he's tiny bit on the roll. What is? He's on the roll. Um, I'm like, what is it? What's going on? And he's like, man, this, this is a, a charge belt. I'm like charge belt? Oh, okay, well, what do you mean? What's going on? Anytime you take a charge, Coach Census, Central Catholic, they gave you this belt. You take it home. You know, you get to take your Instagram pics and your social media pics and do all that kind of thing. And uh, he's very proud of that. So, you know, how to, hey, check that picture out. There's that belt right there. Here's me and Dak. Yeah, look at Tom. I'm, I'm feeling good. Look at my belt. All right, I'm the champ. All right, so there it is. That's Central Catholic. You get a charge belt anytime you take a charge. I thought that was pretty awesome right there. Sticking on that topic there. All right, going up north to Pocono Mountain West. They have the same concept too, but Coach Richie, you know, he's he he has a little he has superheroes. Ooh. He has superheroes. And his thing idea is superheroes, they defend. Okay. Right, they defend. All right. So he had the, the big incredible Hulk hand. All right, it's my man, Mr. Ernest, right there. Check him out. All right. He took a charge out there, was defending, got a charge. So he gets to take him that one more time, Jake. Show us that big hand. All right. Look at that thing. All right. 
he's got the he got the big incredible Hall can. Coach Williams, Pokemon Mountain West, they defend, so that's what they do. But they're not that's not all they do at Pokemon Mountain West, all right? Those guys are out there, Coach Hebner, they're out there in the community, um, doing great things. Um, Coach Williams, he has them. Wait, he doesn't have them. The kids are, you know, they're all very into it. They go to different elementary schools and volunteering their time, reading to the kids. Check that out right there. This is my man, Travis, extra cheesy. He's always smiling extra hard. There he is. All right. So, you know, great thing, great, uh, great things going on there at Pokemon Mountain West. I'm, I was very impressed with, uh, obviously, with the Bell. That's fun and, and so forth. But uh, I love how they're interacting with other kids and the younger kids. Community in stuff. Yeah, community. community things and so forth. And, um, you know, and you know, because at one point those same kids, you know, those same kids are playing. We're in that same position, and they had guys like, uh, you know, Gonzalez mm-hmm. coming to their school and doing that. And Tynell Fortune, Tynell Fortune, oh, one of my favorites. Right? Kevin and Nima, Eric Nostein. We're going back to the Pokemon oh, history oh, right oh, there. Oh. All right, so, um, you know, so it was awesome to see those guys doing that thing right there. And uh, you know, and I, I also caught caught something else there, Coach Eve. You know, me and you, you know, we got we, we get the bald heads. You know, yeah, you know, that you know, that bald head. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? We got the ball head thing going, and um, I couldn't help but check out. Uh, I saw, you know, Coach, you know, Moravian College doing great things right now. No doubt, no doubt. Winning, winning games. Winning. You know, Coach, uh, Coach uh, has them, you know, definitely on the upward. They're 94 feet, all on your feet, playing a fun style of basketball. But um, that's not all he does, just coach. Coach Potts, he doesn't just coach, all right? Check that out right there. Put that out there, Jay. There he is right Ooh. there. Sweeping up the floors, mopping up the floors. After I don't know what it was after, but there he is out there with the broom. Getting it in, getting it dirty, taking care of the work. I mean, Coach Eves, I mean, you're a coach, man. Is that something, you, is that what's normal for the head coach of a college program to be mopping floors and, and doing all that kind of thing? Funny story. Oh, you got stories. What you got here, Coach? What you got? Man? John Wooden there we used go. to do that. He used to mop the floor to show he wasn't better than anybody else. And he liked to do it. It loosened him up. Some coaches like that. I know uh, Coach Meyer, uh, one of the greatest uh, Division Two and NAIA coaches, did the same thing. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, when man. You coach the high school level. Sometimes you have to do it just so your players don't get hurt. Yeah, you know, but Coach Potts out there at Moravian College, he's out there mopping up. One more time, man. Get that shiny head. Show him that shiny head there, Jake. Yeah. Look at that ball thing. That's it, man. He's out there. I mean, Coach Potts, you know, he's doing a great job out there, man, Tom, man. What do you, what do you, about, what do you got about Coach Potts, man? Coach, coach Potts. Potts does it all. Not he sweeps. Uh-oh. He gets his players play. in the summer, too. Uh-oh. Talk to me. Hanging out at the country club, trying to get some rays, cat, check the scenery out. Coach who, Potts at the su- country club? Who, who, you know, I'm just kidding. It was a regular pool. Uh-huh. <laughs> coach Potts comes with his beautiful family. Doing some laps in the pool, getting his cardio in. Okay. Always watching. Always. <laughs> that extends to the pool, too. Always watching. Indeed. Coach Potts getting some laps in, stays in shape so he can sweep that floor so his guys don't get hurt. It's a vicious cycle, yeah. man. It's this a vicious cycle. Time, man. I mean, he got, you know, he got, you know, the ball head crew. He's all, he, Coach Potts, you, you're all, you know, you're He's all the ball up. head crew. He's lotioned so, up. Uh, he, he got, he got some tan lotion on that thing. Yeah. Right S- up. SB. Eight, I believe. Okay, he better close by. SBF, SBF eight. We got one with that head turned red out there. You know what I mean? So keep that lotion on there. You got that. I know you got that, right? I got the hat because I'll go. I'll go straight. All right. So that's one of some one of the more awesome things that we've seen out there, man. Great job, awesome job out there, guys. Check this out. Always watching. Always watching. Young out here, we just trying to chase it back. Get a check for my city, then I run it back. And if you see me, don't say nothing. If you trapped in the struggle, better stay hustling. Honey grand, honey grand, honey grand, honey grand, honey grand, honey grand. Let me stop. Money dance. Honey grand, honey grand, honey grand, honey grand, honey grand, honey grand. Let me stop. Money dance. 